Use sound. There are many moments when I edit my videos that I have to change from one scene to another scene. And there's not a clear way of making that transition happen. The following shot might not have anything to do with the previous shot. It's a different type of color. Nothing's really gonna work easy, but I can assure you, you can help make that transition happen by using sound. My younger transition happy 18 year old self would have found like any excuse to make a nipple twist transition. Like all of these crazy transitions that people have out there. And after realizing that using these transitions makes your videos look like every other Dave's out there, one must take a new approach to how they make videos. That solution for me at least was found through sound design. If we take the series Lupin, for example, there's nothing flashy going on here. It's just a sound introducing the idea that something is about to change. This is what I like about sound design. Some of you may know Vincent Urban, the king of travel videos as I call him, and his editor. They both work so much with sounds to transition from one shot to the next. Damn cold. It's really something that I appreciate from their work, which creates this crazy amount of contrast from one scene to the next. So why would we use sound instead of a visual transition? To create anticipation and tension before the next scene, and also to save your ass from having to do a nipple twist transition. Okay, so how do we do it? Let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how I go about sound designing things. By the way, I'm not a professional sound designer, but I use a lot of sounds in my videos. Take this advice with a pinch of salt. I am no master, no genie, no guru, no messiah, none of the above, just a guy who spends a lot of time in front of his computer. So I have here uh, a clip of the ocean and waves. It goes to this shot here. And so in my brain, what I'm thinking now is, hey, I need to have some sound of the waves and I also need to have the sound of the wind because we have here essentially something blowing around. So you can start by importing your sounds. I've already imported my sounds. Here we have the ocean. It's a bit quieter. I'm gonna put some wind in here. So right now I have this wave coming in here. Let's play it through. So right now we've just made like sort of the background sounds that we want and we've got the sort of levels right here. What I tend to do is I add here a little sweep. I will make sure that the peak of the sweep is where my transition happens. So around about here, I'll cut the rest off and use it just like this. And so it will play. Okay, so for me that's like way too loud right now. So I'm gonna pull it right down in the, the volume. There we Okay, and that sounds a little bit better. Of course, sometimes there can be clicks at the end of these sounds when you cut them. So make sure if you ever have a click or something you don't want, just go into the sound and you can hit command, click, command, click on the decibels and make sure you just have a tiny fade at the end. Really tiny fade because if it's too much, then it sounds too obvious and it doesn't sound very good. That is basically what one can do to have a mini transition from taking you from like a shot like this, which is like very busy and loud to essentially a completely different scene or a different kind of environment. When it comes to getting the audio levels right, make sure that you've already got on your project the voiceover, all of the music that's already in place, Make sure that that's there first and the levels are done for that first before you go sound designing. A few other tips, a few things that you can do are ensure that this green bar that is playing through the sound here, that is never hitting the red. You never want that sound to hit the red. I'll show you what it's like if it hits the red. See how it goes up there to the right and it's hitting the red? That means that it is too loud and it means that distortion will happen. So you wanna make sure that that never hits the red there. You can also do transition effects with natural sounds like the wave. So rather than using, for example, this sweep that we have here, you can just go in to your project and you can change the volume. You can actually hit command click and command click on this volume. And you can just raise the volume just towards the end a little bit has a similar sort of effect. That's obviously too extreme there, but you can utilize your existing sounds for that. Okay, things to note slash tips. Subtle is always better, in my opinion. Always be more subtle with sounds. Don't make them too loud. When they're too loud and they stand out in the mix, they're too high in the mix, people hear it and it doesn't quite 
work. Sound design takes a lot of time, so expect to spend around, you know, the same amount of time you spent on your edit on the sound. Sounds horrible, I know. You just sat there for ages like editing and now your butt sore on the wooden chair that you were sat on. We cannot taste film yet. So until we can taste or smell films, we still need to immerse people audially and visually. Um, my next tip would be curate your own little sound pack. Find the sounds that you use the most frequently and make your own little folders and your own sound library. Label it well, organize it well for however it works for you. But honestly, I wouldn't try and have too many sounds. I have made a sound pack that you can use to download my own plug here, which is free, 110 sounds for sound design, but go through that and just destroy it. Find the sounds that you need and that you use the most and then make your own little sound pack. There is nothing worse than wasting so much time looking through sounds and being like, I don't need it, I don't need this shit, whatever the fuck. Just save yourself time. Most of sound design and good sound design is just about picking the right sound. So do go out and spend time investing in looking for good sounds, high quality sounds, sounds that are actually usable within your work. Guys, take it easy, have a lovely day. Peace, bye.